This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Covington police are now looking for a man they say shot a woman over a parking spot. A neighbor on Herman Street caught the sound of that gunfire on Nest security video. The woman is in serious but stable condition at UC Medical Center. Police are calling this a case of road rage right there in the neighborhood. A Mason students facing criminal charges for reportedly a violent threat. In a letter to parents, the district says it got tips Friday night that a student was threatening to shoot a middle school classmate and mark others as safe with tape. Mason police also got the tips. The district says a student now faces charges and there is no threat. We have new details about a North Bend crash. Now one person is dead. Another seriously hurt after that wreck on Three Rivers Parkway Saturday night. Deputies now say 88 year old Mary Hammond's SUV crossed the center line and hit a truck head on. Its driver, 54 year old Rodney Herzner, died. Hammett has serious injuries. That crash remains under investigation. And an update now, almost one month after, a fi after firefighters battle a blaze at a Butler County wedding venue, the folks who own Hanover Reserve Wedding and Events say they plan to reopen soon. And while they can't give an exact date quite yet, they predict they will be having weddings again in that venue next summer. Now let's check in with Sherry. Sherry, it was a cold and a little bit snowy one Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a cold start in the morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s in many locations, but when you factor in the wind chill, it's going to feel like teens and low 20s across the area. Uh, those temperatures will come up back into the 40s once again for this afternoon. Uh, however, it is going to be a quite chilly day. We'll start with some sunshine through the first portion of the day, but then we cloud up again late in the afternoon. Could see maybe a little wintry mix up along I-70 in areas to the north.